This is Raptor News, and we are in a very dangerous moment right now. We have all the troops around the world on the borders. It is not a mistake. We have countries pointing weapons at countries. Pakistan against India, Russia, America, China, Venezuela, all around the world, troops are amounting on the borders. We had God send a strong message to Alabama and kill all those people. Unawares, he sent something out of the blue and caught them all off guard. All of them was ill prepared. Malachi 3 6 is one of the most important verses in the Bible and it's why I read it a lot for I am the Lord I change not because God said I change not therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed he wasn't talking to Gentiles y'all have to know that and then Gentiles got to know what's for Gentiles and Hebrews got to know what's for Hebrews because God individualized like that. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, exclusion are not consumed. The rest of the world will be consumed. And what? The fire of hell. What I have to say is very important. It always is. But this is very important because the time is nigh. God is getting ready to lift his people out. And then his people ain't what you was thinking his people was. Psalm 68 20. He that is our God. Not Jesus Christ. That's the nation's God. You know. And all of these black Gentiles. These camps. Sakari. GMS. ISUPK. GOCC. IUIC. All of them is consumed. Because they think God changed and made a new covenant. When God is not a liar. He ain't a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man. He ain't Jesus Christ. He that is our God is the God of salvation. There is no salvation in any other. The New Testament is a lie. And God said what? Don't add or subtract from my words. Truly, and I, I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Jeremiah 3.23 Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills. And these are the Gentile hills. And from the multitude of the mountains. The many Gentiles in the mountains. It's talking about Gentiles. Truly in the Lord, our God, you hear that exclusion, is, is the salvation of what? Israel. Salvation of Israel. What about the nations? Fuck them. Fuck them. They lost. they idol worshippers. That's why it's an exclusion. The Lord our God, not the Lord Jesus Christ. Those are the deceived, worshiping a pagan nation's God. An infiltration of the Bible. Jacob is not consumed in the fire. Israel is saved. Haven't mentioned the nations, right? Therefore, Jeremiah 30:10. Fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, who is not consumed, says the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel. Lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. What about the Gentiles? Fuck them. Because they don't want to what? Do what God told them to do or require of them to make it into salvation. And when I'm preaching this, the Gentiles cringe because they don't want to do it. Let's keep going. In 
and watch. Ain't too many of us right. He said he only going to get a remnant of us. So I let you know that every black person talking ain't right. <laughs> you know, you should, you should go with somebody who know what the hell they talking about. If you've seen Rap the News destroy all of them camps, you know you're in the right place. If you see they can't do shit with me, you know, they can't debate with me on these scriptures, you know, damn well you landed in the right place and God sent you to the right person. Don't get butthurt in your fucking Gentile feelings and lose your salvation because you can have salvation as well. You think them camps going to tell you that? Nah, they're going to let you burn up and go to hell like some verses in the Bible say, like what Paul was saying, you know, let let them let them be consumed in they damn shit. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and I will save them by the Lord their God, and will save them by the Lord their God. Mercy upon Judah. Keep going. Zechariah ten six. You haven't heard the Gentiles mentioned yet. Find it in the Old Testament where the Gentiles is going to be saved. And God don't change. Then how the fuck is you finding salvation for the Gentiles in the New Testament? How the hell did some Christ crucified son of God that wasn't there in the Old Testament came to save some people who cannot be saved? Why? Because they are the seed of Satan. They don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. They are a direct connection to the subtle serpent of the garden. I will strengthen the house of Judah. Why, why do you think the, 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 the earth is in the hands of the wicked? I will strengthen the house of Judah. It ain't said Gentiles yet. And I will save the house of Joseph. So if you're looking up salvation and save and everything else, you're going to find that he only saving a particular peculiar people. And I will bring them again to the place you know, I will bring them again to place them, for I have a mercy upon them. He have mercy upon who? Judah, Israel, the house of Joseph. Right? He ain't talking about y'all. And then just say, he gonna take them, he gonna take us out and put us into our land. And then what happens to you? Shouldn't you ask questions, Gentiles? What happens to you then? Meteorites. When he take out the good, then what's going to happen? And nothing but evil going to fall down to this earth in darkness. Who is he having mercy on? Judah. Romans 11, 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Did it say Gentiles? No. That Christ crucified bullshit is false paganism. It was added to the Bible. God don't change. It wasn't, he, he didn't send a savior before as a son, and he, didn't, he ain't going to do one in the, in the future. You should actually really, and look at the devil trying to fuck with my voice. You know, sometimes they make my voice sound like oh, I'm going slow. That's the devil. As I'm talking, the devil is right here warring against me. And then it makes me stutter. I don't stutter. Sometimes it makes me sound like I got a lisp. I don't have one, you know. I, I got one now because I'm worn with this damn fucking devil who right in my fucking face worn with me as I speak to you because they want me to sound as stupid as I fucking can so that you won't believe what I'm saying. You know, I listened back on the table and I said, that's not me. I mean, that's not my voice. The devil is fucking with my voice. And as y'all see, even the screen, y'all watch who watch my videos, how he just uh, wipe out the screen. I'm at war with this damn beast. This is his shit. You know, this is his fake ass technology, but it's God's power that he using. And God can unplug his shit anytime he wants to. That's what the devil do know. And so all of Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Take away his false Christ. God willing. Jeremiah 23 6. In his days Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. 
and this is his name where, whereby he shall be called the Lord of Righteousness. One, right in the end, huh? What is it called? A lamb or something like that? Isaiah 10, 22. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. It's a handful. Because the rest going to be destroyed and consumed inside of here. Why? Because they worship in false gods and idols and they with the nations. If you with the nations in any type of way, that he going to destroy all these damn nations and you with them, you're going you're gonna to burn with them. And I'm saying this to the nations. Y'all finna fry. Y'all have no idea what's finna come down on y'all. Y'all having dreams left and right that a, a bunch of terrorism is happening in America and things is going down and God is angry and wrathful. But it's at y'all asses. And then y'all still ain't gonna get it with y'all perpetual hatred. And you don't have to get it because burn in your anger. Jeremiah 30 number 3. For lo, the days come, says the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people. And then he says who his people is. It ain't the Gentiles. When did you become his people? Oh, Christ came and made us good with God. No, he didn't. That is a fucking lie. And I talk French, you know. This is real French. A fucking lie. I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Did he say Gentiles? All of Israel is going to be saved. Did he say Gentiles? You sons of Jacob are not consumed. Did he say Gentiles? I'm going to lift my people out. Did he say Gentiles? Gentiles have to be concerned that they ain't being mentioned when it comes to the salvation except through this fake ass damn uh, Christ crucified paganistic infiltration God that grafted itself in the Bible again God don't change so what you sons of Jacob are not consumed I the Lord I change not therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed it didn't mention Gentiles you know because they gonna believe any old fucking lie as long as they can get some salvation. Now salvation has come to the Gentiles. Through uh, the death of God. You know. God died. On that cross. That was God that died. The eternal God that don't die. He died on the cross. And y'all believe in that shit. Y'all stuck in that saying. That Jesus is God. And God died. That's eternal. On the cross. For y'all fucking sins when he's telling you that he's coming to destroy all of y'all wicked asses. In the Old Testament he told you he don't change. How can y'all believe such a fucking paganistic lie and infiltration? Y'all need salvation that badly but y'all can't stop sinning. You know and that's the reason why he gonna destroy y'all asses. Keep going against him. Joel 3 7. Behold I will raise them out of the place where you sold them Gentiles. And return your recompense upon your own head. Watch this. The ones that actually sold us is dead. Then whose head is the recompense going on? They descendants, right? They don't want to get it. You know, the, the dude told me today. Um, I forget his name. Hope for something. Uh, you know, he said just leave it alone. You ain't going to save these motherfuckers, man. Jeremiah 30, 11, For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save thee. Who? Israel. Jacob. You know who. Though I make a full end of the nations. Though I make a full end of the nations. I know, I'm a broken record. Though I make a full end of the nations. You don't want to hear it, huh? Shelley Hall. You don't want to face reality, huh? Shelley Hall. The reality is God, and you don't want to face that. You want to vie in a paganistic God that make you feel good, huh? It's easy. This God is easy right here. Even though our God made us go, scattered us through the land, and made us do 870 years of freaking hard labor and murder and, 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 and rape and plumage and oppression 
But y'all got it easy. He don't even mention y'all. He said he's going to destroy all of y'all. But all y'all got to say is in the blood of Jesus, huh? And you don't think that's some false ass shit when you know God is a hard God and he's been hard on his people? You know God is a hard God and he threw Satan's ass in hell for defying him? If he threw Satan's ass in hell for 1,000 years, it says it in Revelation. Him and everybody who followed him, he sent all of their ass to hell in shackles. Michael and the angels chained their asses up and threw them in hell. And he sent his own people. He sent angels to hell. And he sent his people to hell. And you fucking stupid ass goddamn Gentiles think all you have to say is, in the blood of Jesus, huh? You stupid motherfuckers deserve that fire then. God is a hard God on sin. He don't play around there. He ain't, no, ain't going to sacrifice his only begotten to you fucking bastards. Listen to what he has to say about you. I'm with thee, Israel and Judah, but I'm going to destroy all of them. All of you. All nations, which means Gentiles, heathens, whether I have scattered thee in a slave trade, I'm going to destroy them all. And he goes on to say, I'm just going to leave a remnant. But all the ones with the perpetual hatred and all the ones with their asses, their noses stuck up in the air and arrogance thinking they better than the black man. When God placed us above you, you know, and, and the ones who study the Bible knows. Yet I will not make a full end of thee, O Jacob. But what did he say? And I'm going to punish you in due measures, right? Yeah, that's what he says after that. But I'm going to punish you. How is there forgiveness for the, the, the sins of the damn Gentile? And he keep punishing his people like hell all the way to the end. Y'all stupid as fuck for believing that dumbass Jesus Christ bullshit. Obadiah 1.18 And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, the white man, Edom. The white man, Esau, is Edom. For the Lord has spoken it. There shall not be any. So he said all. And now he's saying there ain't going to be any remaining of you. He already told you in the past. Have any of the gods of the nations ever delivered their people out of my hands? Ever. Then what make your paganistic, false ass, infiltrated, cross crucified have some special power to deliver your wicked asses out? When God himself is saying he's going to destroy all of y'all and he don't change. And this is how you don't get consumed, uh, Jacob, because God don't change. And he jakes us out there believing in Christ. You failed. It already told you in the Bible, Christ crucified uh, 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 do not profit the Jews, the house of Abraham. Christ crucified is a stumbling block unto the Jews. How in the fuck is you going for the stumbling block? Look at this Sakari, stupid motherfucker. They all Gentiles, man. That's why they believing in that pagan ass idol God. Joel 3.19, Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. God is going to wipe out everything, even the mountains. He's going to make y'all land flat like y'all did Israel. He said you Gentiles have 42 months before he come and destroy you and take you to hell. Twice he told you, Daddy Satan, you got 42 months to do as you please to my people. And he told what? And what do you think Jeepers Creeper is about? Jeepers Creeper is the Gentile. You know. And he, he has a time to go do that in the season. Just like Gentiles do. Just like Satan do. And then the time is up. The reaper is finna reap. And he gonna harvest all you tares and all you wheat. Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Think about it. The white man's land for the violence against the children of Judah. Because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Took them babies out and killed them, huh? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. And are counted as the smallest dust of the balance. Which he says are counted as nothing. He says the Gentiles 
are counted as nothing. Why do y'all keep thinking y'all something, man? Why don't y'all ever listen to God? Because y'all don't believe in the God. And he said he's going to destroy all the nations that, that forgot God, that don't know him. Gentiles, the Bible says, don't even know God. Why? Because you're worshiping a false uh, pagan deity, Christ crucified, the body of Christ, all of y'all going to hell. Y'all dead in Christ. Jeremiah 51, because if you know that the, the terrorists is going to be raised first, which is the dead in Christ, which is going to be raised first. You put two and two together, man, and, and then you'll end up stupid. Jeremiah 51, 20. You are my battle axe and my weapon of war. For with thee, Judah, Israel, will I break into pieces the nations. Why he want to break y'all into pieces and destroy you utterly and wipe y'all asses all out and he don't change? Then who the fuck is this fake motherfucker bringing y'all salvation when it ain't no salvation for the Gentiles? Keep, keep dreaming. You're going to wake up in a minute. And with thee will I destroy the kingdoms, their kingdoms. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hands of my people Israel. My people. Exclusion. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger. Beat the fucking the snot out of them. And according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. And listen to the God, he, uh, uh, you know, that, that you don't really want to deal with. He said he's going to take your babies and, and smash them against the rocks. It's the God that you're dealing with, man, or the God that you don't want to deal with. The God you, you, you want to pretend like he don't exist. So again, he that is our God is the God of salvation, not Christ. Strap the news.